everybody and how are you? My name's Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch where I make beautiful artificial flower arrangements from door swags, wreaths, things for the home, things for your garden, funeral tributes, weddings and much more. Right, today guys, can I just say, um, I did do a video this morning um, and when I completed the video I went to stop the video and it had already stopped just like the one I apologised for yesterday where it stopped before I finished talking I don't know why it, well I didn't know why then I do now um, and also I apologise that you couldn't see the top of the wreath as well yesterday um, I made something this morning for the video and once I realised, I mean I've not got much on today, well I've finished what I had to do today, uh, I made something for a young lady called Louisa who asked me to do something for her mum who likes very subtle flowers um, and also um, she wanted something for in, in the house. So I will get it down. This is what we, well I thought we was recording this morning on our video. Um, it has got sunflowers in, camellias, um, hellebores, uh, wild daisies, um, aspidistra, not aspidistra sorry, uh, a still be um, a lot of foliage, some morning glory, some foxtail fern, Himalayan fern, white ruscus, bay leaves, and so on. Um, she wanted me to do it. Oh, and lambs here. She wanted me to do it because her mum likes subtle colours. So uh, she wanted it full. Her mum want likes flowers when they're in an arrangement to look full. So I decided to do an asymmetrical one in a like a peachy pink container and very subtle peach uh, peach coloured flowers with white. Well, that's what we did this morning on the video until I went to see that it had stopped after 22 minutes. I asked my son who, and I'm chatting away to you until the end of the video, not knowing it had stopped. So basically, I was talking to myself. <laughs> um, I'm a bit um, annoyed um, that I didn't check. I left things open on my camera so it was using all the memory. It had used all the memory while I was trying to record at the same time. My son came and had a look and he closed it all down and I told him I'm going to have to do another video. I can't let you down guys so I'm doing another video. So that's the one we did this morning. I will speak to you, Louisa. I will contact you back, my darling, um, concerning that. So yes, a little bit annoyed about that. You may see it, hear it in my voice. So I've decided I'm going to do a basket. <laughs> and this I'm going to call, it's just going to be in one colour. One colour, guys. I'm not doing different colours, I'm just doing different shades of one colour. And the colour is going to be purple. Obviously I've got a little bit of greenery, not much. I've got some willow. I have some fern, what I've got. I need to put picks on some of these, I can't find the full stem. Um, I've got some fern where it's got the purple little buds in. I've just got the bunch out guys, I think because I was annoyed I just grabbed everything and just placed it on here. Um, so um, I've got out my lavender, I've brought that out, I've just grabbed two pieces of um, my baby gerberas, a little bit I found this in my oddments so I'm going to have that hanging over the sides, the foliage, I've got my purple um, anemones now I've got some purple shaded purpley pink shade of um, tarragon so I've got that as well 
Now I've got some purple and lilac astilbe. It's now these it's seeded, so all these make a mess. So I'm not wafting them about. I've got out one bunch of purple calla lilies. I've just grabbed some sea holly. Some mini purple roses with a bit of foliage and some oops deep purple daisies. That is what we're going to do. So that was just over the, the last five, ten minutes I've gathered all that together, placed it here. I've not checked what I want. I've got lots of purple things. Oh, one moment, I could use something else as well. For the height, I've got some of these. Um, I think these are orchid stems as well. So we'll, we'll bang a few of those in. Sorry guys, I'm a bit annoyed because of the video. I think the video went on for about an hour and a half when we did all of that. And then when I started only doing 20 minutes, it's sort of like, mm. I think the, um, you know, how you get. Um, so I placed in a piece of foam in a wicker basket, put some wreath wrap around it, and we're going to do that. I may do a ribbon. I've also got out just purple ribbon, three little different ones. I've got the deco web. I've got the purple with the white, funky strip in the center, purple uh, with the gold. This is just a trial one I found before I buy the big one. I just want to see what that's like. So that's if I decide to place a ribbon here, here or wherever. So I'm going to be doing something. I'm going to put as much effort as in, in it as I do with everything, guys. I'm not going to think, please don't think that now, oh, uh, that video didn't run properly. Oh, she's just going to place things in and hurry up with the video. No, 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 no. Far from it, guys. Far from it. Because um, I was going to uh, clear up some of my buckets. But never mind. There's always another day for that, guys. So don't worry. We're still going to pay as much attention as what I would with any other arrangement. So I just want a little bit of greenery. I forgot what my song said, call this. It says call it something like purple sapphire or something. But sapphires are blue. That's what I thought. But I don't know. So I, what I want to do with these, I want to bring a, some floral over. I'm going to do bits of floral. In the other one, I started off with all my foliage. So I want things like height. I may not even put the bow here. I may just have a one on the side, or a one or two here. Who knows? I'm, you know, I might not even place one on because the flowers all look so nice without one. So I want one as height. And I want to know: Do I? Let's have a look. I don't want no more than three. So I'm going to, they're all going to, you know, go from the centre outward. Well, one in the centre vertical and the other two I want coming slightly out. Let me just place that in and bend slightly. Oh, let me check the camera so you can see. And while I'm there, I'll check that you haven't... <laughs> it hasn't gone off. <laughs> Let's have a quick look, guys. Let's have a look. That you can see everything. Yeah. So I'm going to place those. Sorry if you can't see me. <laughs> I'm going to place in some of our willow 
This is a lighter coloured willow and smaller in the leaf. I went for the smaller one. I have got to get the ones with the bigger, the bigger leafed ones as well. I'm going to place some here. That might look pretty in the centre with that. Yes, yeah, so my son's cleared all my phone. I'm just manipulating this so it's sort of like has got a little bit of a bend to it. There's that one through there. tiny these leaves. I'm going to do the same with this as well. What I'm doing is you can turn the leaves around because some are facing the opposite way to the others and I want, I do want to have them facing you know all the same way if possible. I'm holding the um, the foam up with cable ties um, and there's nothing at the bottom, there's no weight in it because it's quite heavy this basket. I want to place in these to get these. These are just oddments. Yeah, I've been chatting away, guys, uh, to myself for about an hour and a half. <laughs> I was telling you what I've ordered. I was telling you that um, I want to. I mean, I've cancelled the other video because it only went on for 20 minutes, so I've, I've deleted it. Um, I was telling you that I've ordered um, some cube metal containers, um, like a racking system. Uh, the workbench what I have here, because this is an L shape, it is a big, big workbench. I mean, this down here is about eight foot long, so that's 240 centimeters if you're working in centimeters. Um, and this is the bigger one than what that is. Since I've been doing my videos, I've um, I work over here more than anything on this side. So I decided I need more storage. I need more things for my florals. I'm placing things in with things that really need to be on their own, so to speak. Um, I've got more. I've got a lot of morning glory, but I'm starting to place in because. The bucket with the wild daisies is chock-a-block 
So now I'm starting to place in wild daisies with the morning glory. glory. So they need to be separated. Uh, so And I don't know what's at the bottom. So hence the reason I'd need some more space. Um, I'll tell my husband when he gets home what I've done. But, uh, yeah. And the thing is, the storage that I've ordered has got 16 cubes. About two foot by two foot. And there's 16 of them. And you have to self-assemble them. And I want to take out that workbench um, to give me more room to place the storage across that side of the room behind the camera. And then once I've done that, then I can start to separate my floral and have more room to place them so I can see more. So my floral will then be in an L shape because again it's it's a bit too too much you know looking for things because i i keep ordering things it's, it's only because customers are looking for a certain thing and if i haven't got them in then i order quite a bit of them you know so i know i've got them in case another customer orders so that's that's the how i tend to do it i you know i I know some people like to just order as and when a customer orders them themselves, but I'm a bit different. <laughs> if somebody wants something, I, instead of just ordering about three or four you know, bunches, I order like 10 or 12 bunches, so then I know I've got them there in case they come back and say I want another one. So I've ordered two of those racking systems so that's 36, uh, 32 extra uh, cubes to place in and separate my flowers. I hope my husband's all right about it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, uh, I've got to do it guys because things are stacking up and it's like all the Easter things they finished now and I've still got them there. I've got nowhere to place them. They're, you know, and they need to be in boxed up out of fur uh, and placed away for next year. Like I do with the Christmas things. All the Christmas things are all boxed up and all under here. But my husband said he's going to build me uh, something just outside of the, my workshop and where I can place in boxes of things for seasonal things and just get them out when I need them. Which would be really much of, you know, big help. Right, I'm placing in these little ferns with the yellow, uh, purple buds. I think actually this will be quite nice with all the, uh, just purple. I'm placing these in each of the corner of the foam. Just trying to think where am I going to place it. I was wondering where I was going to place it today, the one I did the earlier. And I thought I'll move the beautiful harp across and place that one there. Now I think I may have to take the lanterns off and place this up, up there because this is going to be quite tall. I don't know guys, what am I like? I can't believe I've gone and done that. I'm going to place one here as well. So silly of me. These haven't got picks on, 
so let's get some picks. I doubt if we'll get a bow on these guys, if I'm being quite honest. Yeah, the racking system's coming tomorrow. I don't know when I'll get it up. Not, but it's coming tomorrow. I'm going all the way around with these because with them hanging over I want some here as well I'll just let this hang over like so so that's our fern I quite like that already it may have been an advantage then that the video stopped because I might not have thought of doing it in just purples today hmm. oh, I've got glue all over me so this is beautiful this is a rubbery feel I got this off a, a wholesale and I'm, it is lovely lovely texture it's, it's really pretty Ooh, really pretty some of that here as well where the handle is Let's bring some of it through there Do that again on here. Just again where the willow is. Just bring it down like that. Again, I don't know whether I'm going to use all these guys. I haven't you Oh, I'm going to place those in. I haven't used these. I'm going to use it. I'm going to put one in each corner, then I'm going to basically put, I don't know. You know what I should have... Let me think. No, I'm going to place them in the corner. These are a beautiful, beautiful purple. Look at those. I'm going to show you close up. The two tone. Look at those. Aren't they divine? 
they are a wonderful wonderful purple so these are going to go on each corner of the foam as well just sticking out slightly like that Oh. oh my god guys I love it oh I'm so glad the video stopped now <laughs> do I place in or leave those oh they are beautiful you see Just get oh. those what I've just placed in. I think I need some on the other side because I want to sort of like mirror imaging, even if it's just one, I want it the other side. I want to, yeah, it's it's needed. better guys it doesn't look fair then at that side let's just bring it back up a little yes 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 right roses Oh, they're pretty. I just want to place in things without it. Getting in the way of the like things like the roses. Let's cut these. Cracky, these are tough. Oops a daisy. At the moment I'm not saving these anymore guys. I have got, it's got to be about 400. I can't keep, you know, I haven't got room for, <laughs> for things anymore. So I've got to just cut down a little bit on them. Let me cut that one. I've got plenty at the moment, but once I start running out, I will start stocking back up on them. Right, I'm going to place that there. I'm going to do the same with this one. Place that like that. And I'm going to do the same, the opposite side. I'm just going to straighten this stem up. Oh well, never mind. 
Oh, let's to the dimension and the depth. Um, I've got my wispy. Oh, they look pretty. I'm quite pleased now the video stopped. This is lovely. I've got the weekend to go through my buckets, guys. I'm going to stick around a slightly higher, uh, coming under around the thistle. So we're going to place, let's place a couple though in the centre. Because the orchids, they're the, um, I'm sure they were orchids. They're the height, what acts as the eye height for us. Let's put one on the side here, one on the other side. We'll do it here. beautiful already just purples guys see what you can create just with one color some people have had a um, oh gosh I'm not saying recently but in the past they've said I just want uh, will it look okay if I just have, have one color you know of anything oh yeah definitely it's you know monochromatic hi hub um, a monochromatic look so it's oh yeah definitely looks pretty so I'm going to bring one down here just at the bottom just as you can see down here to give it a nice little feature and do the same on this side I'm going to add in some of our, oh I've got lots of this, as you can see this is just one batch, I've got another, a bucket full of lavender, different types, from different places, because I don't want just all the same, I'd, I like a variety, and that's another thing, my lavender buckets are getting full as well. Use another one. Let's get another one out. I love the smell of real lavender. We've got it in our garden, it's beautiful. The bees love it. Righty. going to place these as you can see around here oops a daisy as well just got glue all over my hand to also place them around where the handles are as well. Uh, I, I don't 
you know, forget about that. And I like some around the bottom, you know, to balance it out because, I mean, lavender grows everywhere. So I like to sort of like mimic that. Let's just bend those slightly over and do the same on this end as well. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's get some around the centre. I like this. <laughs> All that moaning I did. one one there do the same on this beautiful that looks already with all just purples I like that I'm going to leave those out a moment because I may use those again right let's get our still being now this is very very bitty one two three four right there's five so i'm only going to use four i'll have to use the four around the edge one two three four please that hence the reason i believe i've left them in the bag i've got them all over there but they're all in the bag because of the bits getting everywhere those aren't they pretty lilac and deep purple seeded I think they're beautiful <gasps> I'm going to place these guys here just at the front to either side I think that one look beautiful They are the leaves are push ups. Just like the ones I used in there, they're just white. I know a lady wants hanging baskets with things like this in. stick out beautiful oh oh my good gracious me that made me jump I've just pulled it off <gasps> let's get a, where's the thing let's put a bit of glue on that and stick it back on there. so it doesn't come off Oh, I forgot to place this one on. Oh my goodness. Let's peel that plastic off at the bottom. That plastic at the bottom helps, helps keep them on so they don't fall off. Right. Let's 
So we'll do that on the opposite side. Lovely. Now let's get our roses in. I'm going to bring some roses up slightly higher up here as well. To bring some floral up higher. We don't just want it lavender. We need to add a little bit of floral just at the top, so we've got place, so let's just spread that like that, like at the top like that, do the same on this side. Oh, I like that. I like that. Right, push ups for our colour lilies. Isn't it lovely when you can just have one colour, all different shades of one colour? How it works. Again, our colour lilies and we use it as movement as well. Let's bring bringing some down as you can see like that so they're at the, around the bottom area yeah, just to give that movement around the bottom another bunch guys or a few more grab another bunch so I want to bring some above as well 
even if it's just in the center just to give that wispy feeling like you see here around the center Oh, I love this. <laughs> I love this, guys. Oh, what a nice gift. What a lovely gift. Right, I've got some oddments of these. So I'm going to use these oddments up first. All these different shades. Can you imagine if you did it in pink, guys? There's that many different shades of pink. Oh my goodness. I don't think you'd be able to know where, when to stop if you had all the pinks. Let's get these all ready. I don't want to start to take that plastic off. I've got a thing about the plastic on the bottom. Sometimes I can't get it off, like this one, that's it. Oh, I've left a bit on there. Oh. Um, take some of this off. You know what, I'm going to just cut it off. I don't know why I don't just cut it off. Just cut them off, guys. It'll be better. Now this is another da uh, darker shade of purple. These are lovely. I went through. I can't get these anymore. Yeah, that's the very last lot I've got, and I just can't get them. The lady who did them, the supplier. Oh, she, she hasn't got them, and mm, it's a sad thing. So I'm going to. I love these as you can see that's there doesn't that look fabulous and I'm going to push that up I'm manipulating them so they're all separated and as you can see as you know there's hardly any foliage that I've placed in. I've placed in the willow, um, a bit of the fern here, and a bit of the pinky purple ta uh, lilac tarragon. That is basically it. Um, and I mean, I haven't placed a lot in, oh, I haven't got that bit on. I haven't placed a lot in, so uh, the, the rest of the foliage is from the floral. Uh, it's not from something I've placed in. That's too long, that one. Let me just cut that. So it's... Uh, 
it's the floral that's placed in the foliage, the majority of the foliage, by having what it's got on the, its stems. And that's what's filled it up. So again, if you've not got much foliage, but you've got foliage on your floral, um, then that will also fill in your, you know, your arrangement as well. some around the handle, either side of the handle, again, to add in, just, you know, to spread it around so it's, it's all around, it's not just in a certain area, you know, I'm balancing it out. of this handle and I can barely see um, Is one of the tarragons come off. I can barely see the foam either. Look at that. Doesn't that look sweet? Right, I can still see the odd gap. lower down yeah. I've got four left on this this bunch before I start on the other so I'm gonna use these they're baby carnations and they're a two-tone purple Again with their own foliage. Now I'm going to place these one, two, I think, one moment, let's have a look. One, yeah, one, two, three, four. So again, I'm going to balance these out as well, and I'm going to put these in the center of the middle part there. So that then now covers that little gap I had there. And I'm going to do exactly the same on this side as well because that's where I can see a little bit of a gap in the arrangement. Look at all of that guys, oh, isn't that lovely? You see, I could still place in, I've got morning glory, you see, 
with a deep, rich, beautiful, dark purple around the tips. Let me grab. Let me grab, guys, and just see what we think. <gasps> oh, guys, look. Look at that. Let me just take one off. And I want to place these around the bottom. So they're leaning, uh, just basically coming over. If I just place it in like that, doesn't that look pretty? I bet you couldn't see it then. So let's give it a go. Place one in and then I'll show you. And I'm gonna lean them down, look, like so. Isn't that beautiful? How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six. Let's use six at the moment. So we have two here, two there, one, one. So we'll do it like that, so if that's there, then we want one around here. Again, the Morning Glory has its own foliage, as well. Handles are coming down. Like that. And I'm only adding this in because it's still adding interest to the arrangement. If it didn't do anything, then I wouldn't place it in. This one. Here and that handle, and the other two here. So there's a gap there, I can see. Let's cover that one. Oh, what's that? Place one just here. Like so, guys. Oh, I love that. I really do like that. I'm not going to add anything else because it's really, really nice. Um, it's got everything it needs to be filled in. The gaps are covered. The floral has its own foliage. I mean, you can still grab the handle in the center. I'm not going to add a bow. I could place a bow on the basket, but no. I, that will spoil it. Um, because the, this is all the focal point. Now, I like that. I really like that. And I like wispy, and it moves. That is, That would be a beautiful gift for a lady or a gentleman who, or a loved one who loves purple. That is pretty. Um, so guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, sorry about the video concerning the peach one this morning. Again, Louisa, I will get back in contact with you, my darling. Uh, you know, and if you've got a basket, guys, it doesn't have to be this size, it can be, <laughs> It can be like that little one I had, like that. <laughs> or, you know, it can be any basket. I mean, I've got 
other baskets, uh, but they're they're in my storage. Um, and you can use all all different baskets. A coloured coloured basket if it's got um, different colours on your basket, that would be pretty. You know, if it's got pinks, purples, use pinks and purples in your floral, um, yellows or anything like that. Whatever colour, or if you've got white, and do a colour of your choice. But if you, like I say, if you do pinks, try and get all different coloured pinks. You know, all different tones. If you do yellows, try and get different tones of yellows. Purples, oranges, if you do oranges, different tones of oranges. And try and make an arrangement with just one colour. And you'll be surprised without a lot of foliage. Again, I've just used the willow. Uh, majority of my floral had its own foliage. And I've just used some taller bits in the centre for that height. So it's not a basket that's low. So you've got the height in it. Um, and then just use some bigger uh, headed uh, flowers like the anemones but if you're going to use big headed flowers also use smaller ones as well to counteract with it and to balance it out um, and again I've used some astilbe just to give that other different texture um, to go with it and the thistle or sea holly as you may know it or maybe arignium whichever you know it by guys and little wispy uh, calla lilies as well, even tinier. Things like that, daisies, uh, you know, a bit of all sorts really. But may, majority, you know, try and go for something a floral, which I think the majority of them anyway will have their own foliage. And use that foliage as your filler where you can't see your foam. Um, and then they will turn out beautiful like that. So I think that is pretty. I'm glad the video stopped now. Oh well, it's just a thing that happens isn't it, at the end of the day. So at least I got to make two and I'm happy about that. So again guys, please subscribe, share and like. And uh, you know, to, to the world, to your friends, family, colleagues, uh, anybody who you may know. And thank you all for watching my videos. I really, really do appreciate it. You're wonderful people. And again, apologies for yesterday's video where you couldn't see the top. Um, I put it here. I placed it here. If you want to see the top of what it was like yesterday, that's the top of it, guys. Around here. Uh, what you couldn't see. Where I was busy placing things in and I when I analyzed the video you couldn't even see me doing the top so my apologies for that guys um, so again if you uh, if you've got a basket it doesn't have to even be a basket it just like can be a round container you know it doesn't have to be the wicker basket it can just be a solid ceramic container a vase or anything but just do something in one colour and I'm, you'll be surprised what it comes out like. So guys, again, thank you so much. Uh, I really do appreciate it and I love you all and have a wonderful day and God bless you all and good health. Oh and David, if you're watching my darling, um, you know, I hope you're alright. I've not heard from you for a while. I hope your mum's all okay and I hope you're in good health. All the best, my darling. And that's David from Ohio. Take care and God bless. Right, guys, I'm going to get going. I'm going to uh, give my husband uh, a container that he was looking for to hang on the got outside on the garden. And I found one in my stash of storage that he could use. So, all the best, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. And I'll do a quick close-up. That's if the video's still running. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much. And again, please subscribe, share and like. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye. <gasps> the video is still running. The video is still running, guys. Ah, what a joy. Oh, I'm going to have to just come around here, move this.
Oh my goodness, I've all, my son's tangled all my cables together. S excuse me, guys. I've got to untangle them. Look at all those beautiful purples, all the different shades, the lilacs. That's, some of them look pink, but they're not pink, guys. Honestly, they are lilac. Um, and your astilbe, your seeded astilbe, that gets everywhere, but it's beautiful. Your little calla lilies, your deep purple wild daisies, um, and your fern and your morning glory your beautiful animo look at that guys absolutely beautiful and your mini roses and your purple orchids aren't they beautiful so pretty and your thistles or your sea holly whichever you know them by and again all down and then your tarragon in there that's a very lilac pink colour but oh that is beautiful one colour absolutely stunning if I do say so myself so again guys I hope you have a wonderful day oh and let me just show you when I was on about that I got all my things mixed up there is my morning glory and look the daisies are all in the same bucket I am getting overcrowded with floral as you can see all here and I don't know what's in the bottom of these buckets guys hence the reason I've had to order some more racking system and even the foliage I've had to put the uh, silver dollar with the willow usually the silver dollar is all in one bucket but I've had to mix it with something else so hence the reason I'm running out of space, so I need lots, lots more of racking. So I need to go and tell my husband. I'll tell him once I've given him that um, display. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a wonderful day and all the best. Take care. I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Bye.